I'm Catholic, and the Catholic Church was started by Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. Every other church on earth is a man-made religion or a woman-made religion, and meaning that they started at different times and at different places in history, all teaching different things, all coming up with different doctrines, most of them going by the Bible alone, but all contradicting each other and claiming to be the truth. Most of these religions claim to go by the Bible, and they claim to be led by the Holy Spirit, but they contradict all the other religions who claim the exact same thing. So either the Holy Spirit is really confused, or these man-made religions are really confused. This is what Protestantism has made us. When Luther broke away from the Catholic Church, he broke away from Christ and Christianity and severed the body of Christ. And it wasn't long before Calvin broke away from him and Zwingli disagreed with both of them. And all these reformers couldn't agree with each other. And by the time Luther died, there were over 240 new religions. Now there are over tens of thousands of Protestant and other quasi-Protestant quasi-Christian religions and sects, all claiming to follow the Bible and all claiming to follow God the right way. But it's chaos. It's confusion. And in the midst of this forest of little saplings all arguing with each other and yelling at each other and spitting and kicking each other, there's a huge giant redwood, a huge California oak tree that towers above all the other trees in the forest, the little saplings in the forest, and that is the Catholic Church that has stood her ground for 2,000 years. So who started your church? The first big break, besides the Coptic churches in the 6th century, the first big break came with the Orthodox churches and the Greek Orthodox churches in 1054 AD. They broke away from the Catholic Church and the authority of the Pope. And in fact, the Orthodox churches reunited with the Pope and the Catholic Church twice in history, only to break away again at later times. But the biggest break, as we know, came with Martin Luther in 1517, and he severed Christianity in two. Martin Luther is not Jesus. So how could people, and this is an honest question, but how could people be Lutheran? It wasn't founded by Jesus. Luther had no authority to break away from the Church of Christ, and he had no authority to start a new religion. And in fact, the Anabaptists were started five years later uh, after that. The Anglican Church was started, as we know, by King Henry VIII, not because it was started by Jesus, not because the church was true, but because King Henry VIII wanted another wife and the Pope wouldn't grant him another wife, and he refused to listen to the Pope. But who cares about the Pope? Jesus was the one who said you can't get remarried without committing adultery. The Catholic Church was just upholding that teaching, and King Henry broke away for terrible reasons. So anyone, how, how can anyone be an Anglican? They say it's Catholic light, but it has no authority to exist. It has no authority except King Henry, who was a mere man who refused to follow the teachings of Jesus. And consequently, the other churches that broke away from uh, King Henry VIII and the Anglican Church, like the Episcopalians or like the Congregationalists and churches like that, these were offshoots of already existing offshoots. How do they have authority to exist? Why are we part of those churches and not the original church of Jesus Christ himself? Can we see that these were started by men and for not good reasons? Many, many centuries later, the evangelicals and the fundamentalist movements would come about. Those were all man-made as well because the Congregationalists, the Unitarians, and other religions like that who were super liberal and just basically threw the Bible out the window and taught whatever they want— it was terrible. And so these fundamentalist and evangelical religions that went strictly by the Bible developed and arose, which was much better. But unfortunately, they taught a lot of Protestant doctrines too, which were erroneous or just incorrect. And then you move on down the line to like the 1800s when countless religions were started. The Mormons were started in 1829 by Joseph Smith, who was an 18-year-old boy who claimed he saw an angel. The Millerites were around in the 1800s, and they ended up predicting the end of the world falsely, and it broke apart into sects. So everyone left the Millerites, and they started different religions. One of these sects that came out of the Millerite movement was the Seventh-day Adventists, started by Ellen G. White. Notice I didn't say it was started by Jesus. 
I said it was started by Ellen G. White, who was a woman and had no authority to keep starting new man-made religions and breaking off from already broken off, who were already broken off from other broken off churches. Another church that came from the Millerite movement was the Jehovah's Witnesses, started by Charles Taze Russell, who continued to predict the end of the world, just as the Millerites did. Many, many countless churches came about in the 1800s. Pentecostals are a huge branch of Protestantism, and they came about in the 1900s, right on the dot, 1900, invented by a man called Charles Fox Parham. And he started this movement. And of course, the Assemblies of God would break away from them. And the Oneness Pentecostals, who don't believe in the Trinity and they're more like a cult, they broke away after that. And many, countless, thousands of religions, thousands, it's mind-boggling how many religions started in the 1900s. Even Hillsong and other churches like that started in 1983. None of these churches is as good as they might do, like the Salvation Army, they do do a lot of good. They do do a lot of charity. That's a great thing. But they weren't started by Jesus. They weren't started by Christ himself. They're not part of Christ's church. They're separated from Christ's church. The only church that goes back 2,000 years is the Catholic Church. And I made a video on that, which you can see right here. You'll have to watch the whole video because toward the end, I show how the Catholic Church was started by Jesus. I show a list of 264 popes, and we can trace the lineage of the popes all the way back to Peter himself. We have their names. We have the dates that they served, the histories there. You can even look in the earliest Christian times, the catacombs, when the earliest Christians had to live underground and worship underground because they were persecuted. And you can see that video right there. It shows that they were Catholic. They taught Catholic things. They have Catholics buried under there. Only the Catholic Church goes back to the time of Christ. Again, this isn't to put down any other religion, but it is to show that we have separated and blown apart and decimated what Christianity is. Christ said that he wanted one church. He wanted one faith, one hope, one baptism, one set of doctrine. Paul was always calling us to think in the unity of our minds and in the unity of doctrine. And yet we, it's, we're embarrassing now to the rest of the world because atheists look at Christianity and say, you can't get your story straight because we're all arguing with each other and condemning each other and all thinking we're right. And yet in the midst of all that, the Catholic Church has been here for two thousand years. If you didn't know that, I would ask you to consider looking into the Catholic Church. If you were Catholic and now you're an ex-Catholic, I would ask you, ask you to think about giving the Second Church a second look, looking at it again. You may even check out the website Catholics Come Home, which shows a lot of this information, has videos from ex-Catholics and other religions who are all flooding into the Catholic Church because they're discovering that it really is the one true Church of Jesus Christ. And it's done amazing, amazing things over two thousand years. So look into it. And if you have any questions, of course, please put them down below. If you have any comments, if you have any thoughts, please put them down below. And if you want to message me directly and I know a lot of people who are thinking about becoming Catholic find me on social media. They find me on uh, Facebook or Instagram or whatever and they ask me questions and they start to come into the Catholic Church and get their questions answered. If that's you, message us. Ask us your questions and we want to help you and accompany you on your journey. If you're a Catholic and you have questions, keep watching the videos on this uh, channel and ask us any questions that you have. And please like this video, please subscribe, and please consider supporting our Patreon page, which helps us to exist. Thank you very much and God bless you. Hi everyone, my name is Kate. I'm the video editor here at Catholic Truth, and I just wanted to say on behalf of all of us, thank you so much for taking some time to watch our videos and learn more about your faith. You guys really make this channel possible, and we truly appreciate you being here. So thanks again, and God bless.